<laughs> yeah, you've had quite a day. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. I so much love this job because I get to travel the state and I get to say this is another good day in West Virginia because we're here to celebrate the groundbreaking of yet another section of Corridor H. Officially, it's called the Kearns to Parsons Section 3. Our first speaker is going to explain more about Corridor H. It's my pleasure to introduce to you the Secretary of the West Virginia Department of Transportation. He's the Commissioner of the Division of Highways as well, Mr. Jimmy Riston. Thank you, Randy. Great day to be up here, isn't it? The first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to point to your attention to all these trees laying around here, you know, and, and, and describe to you the significance of those trees laying where they're laying. If we don't get those pile of trees right there by March 15th, we lose this entire construction season. So our good contracting partner, ALL Construction, doesn't work this year on this project if these trees don't get down. So they, they did this. This, this is a West Virginia company, West Virginia company, with local West Virginian folks, got up here, cut these trees down so that we could avoid those bats and get this project rolling this year. So, this is, this is the first of the last ones that's coming, because they're coming. We're gonna build this road. I want to thank everybody for being here today, all, all the senators, the delegates, our, our good friends from, uh, from, from Washington here, the, uh, all of the folks from Tucker County, from Grant County, from Hardy County, and particularly uh, a lot of my folks are here as well. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> this is about a, three, a little over three miles of uh, brand new Quarter H roadway coming, coming to your doorstep here. This, this is what's going to... This is what's going to happen over the next two years, next year and a half, all the way till we connect this thing up. We're going to get it done. We are going to get this done. Uh, you made me feel like Jill Biden. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. But uh, this project, it, it speaks for itself. I can tell you all about this project. But this one, if, if, if there was a bowler plate, plate project for quarter H, this is the section that's the bowler plate. Uh, right, right, Jason? This, this, is the one, this is the one that's going to really roll through. You're going to get this one done on time, under budget. It's, this is going to be easy. <laughs> I won't find them. <laughs> They taste like chicken. <laughs> so thank, thank you, uh, thank you all for coming here. This, this is, this is, this is special. Every, every time we beat this drum, it's going to be special until we get this connected up. And uh, it's not a matter of if anymore; it's when. And uh, that, that's where we're at. So without, uh, without taking up much more time, it's been my, it'll be my great honor to introduce to you the, the 36th governor of the great state of West Virginia, Governor Justice. Listen, guys, why don't y'all come up and talk? You know, I mean, are y'all going to talk? You're, do, are you sure? I mean, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Okay, no. All right. Well, we've got representatives here from, you know, Senator Capito and Senator Manchin's office and everything. We appreciate them in every way. The, uh, uh, let me just say just this. First of all, I was getting on the state plane. Now, I haven't been on the state plane a whole lot period but the state plane I, and, I, and i was going to fly to i think to petersburg and drive down we were in great shape and everything it was like nine probably 35 i drove right up to the plane at lewisburg i was getting on the plane and everything and they said no you got a little bit of a problem here we're leaking fuel out of one of the wings okay and so all of a sudden, then the decision was made, you know, I've got to be in Elkins at some point in time today. We're opening up a, another veterans facility there, which is really good stuff. And the decision was made, well, the best thing, that, I mean, the only thing that I can possibly get to is maybe I can get to Elkins and do that. 
but I really mean this. I wanted to be here. And so I said, well, how long will it take us to get there? And so that's why you're delayed and everything. And I appreciate you waiting on me and all that kind of stuff. But I have burned the tires off of that baby right there <laughs> coming here. But we left the Lewisburg Airport at about 940, and we got here at, you know, I don't know what time, maybe 1240. But three hours from the Lewisburg Airport going to go through White Sulphur and drop Drew off and his vehicle off at uh, Hardy's in Lewisburg, and then, and then and in some way up Route 92 and Huttonsville and all through wherever we've been, we uh, this has been a journey and a high speed journey. But I, you know, I was driving and Drew, who's Captain Pendleton, who's head of my detail, he said several different times, "Now calm down, Ricky Bobby." <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, <laughs> then I became Mario Andretti at one point in time. Calm down, Mario. You know. So uh, anyway, it uh, it's really an honor to be here. You know, I've said it over and over and over and over. Quarter H is the most important of them all. That's all there is to it, to me. And in some way, somehow, and I've driven Jimmy crazy, but some way, somehow, we're going to be under contract to have quarter H done, period, before I leave. And... Uh, I can never thank, you know, Senator Manchin, Senator Capito, all the great people that are working and pulling the rope to make all this happen. But it is the absolute most important to drive growth, to drive business opportunity, drive jobs, drive all kinds of tourism, drive everything right here in our lap. It's really that important. Now, I would tell you a long, long ways from here, to me, the second most important is the Coalfield Expressway because it connects southern West Virginia to the world like in many ways Quarter H does for us here. So with all that being said, I can go on and on and on and I can tell you all the money that we've spent and all the stuff we've done and all the effort and everything else, but really and truly, my dad would say, don't confuse effort with accomplishment. I don't care how hard you try. He's told me that a thousand times. I don't care how hard you try, how much money we spend, how much we've done, which is all good and we should be feeling great about that, but we need to accomplish. And we're, we can see it. We can see it in our sights. We can see it where, you know, Jimmy moves or all the great people that move to be able to cut this timber to, to avoid a problem with the bad issue and all that kind of stuff to where we can keep on going. This is really good, and this is really important. So all of you, in every way, I can never thank you enough. It's really proud to be, I'm really proud to be here, and believe me, be, Drew Pendleton is proud to be alive right now. <laughs> yeah. And I am too, but uh, and and oh, I've got my other little buddy. You you got to see baby dog. Oh. You know, come on, baby. Come on, girl. I almost forgot her. Come on, baby. You can make it. All right, Drew. You got to do the the honors. Now, now we're complete. But, uh, and when we're done, if you want to come up and say hi to baby dog, feel free to do so. Uh, she's had a long ride too. And every time I look back, she had her t tongue out. She puts her tongue out when she goes to sleep. <laughs> anyway, thank y'all so much for having me. Thank you so much for waiting on me. Governor, we're going to get you behind the all important shovel here in just a couple of seconds. But, but first, before we do that, I'd like to introduce for some comments and remarks the um, executive director of the Randolph County Development Authority as well as the Corridor H Authority Director, Mr. Robbie Morris. Robbie? Good afternoon. Welcome to a great day for Corridor H. Governor, Mr. Secretary, special guests and friends, 
Robbie Morris, Chairman of the Quarter H Highway Authority, and on behalf of the entire authority, I want to say what an honor it is to be here today as we break ground on Section 3 of the Kearns to Parsons section of Quarter H. For decades, citizens of West Virginia have waited for this long overdue project to be completed. Today we celebrate another milestone in this journey to complete Quarter H. For a project of this magnitude to become reality, it takes a diverse team of individuals and organizations to make it happen. While yes, it takes significant financial resources from the federal government, which our delegation has been diligent about sending our way, the priority to complete this highway must first be set at the state level. And those priorities are set by our governor. From day one, Governor Justice has said that Quarter H is the number one highway construction project priority in the state. Throughout his time in office, he has held true to that promise. There are states who are sitting on hundreds of millions of dollars for their Appalachian Development Highway System because they're not interested in completing their ADH cor ADHS corridors. Our governor, working with his team at the Division of Highways, has applied for and used every federal dollar possible to put towards Quarter H. Through the Governor's Roads to Prosperity program, the state has thrown in significant dollars towards this project as well. It is leadership and commitment like that why we are here today. It is also why people are finally gaining hope that this long overdue project will finally be completed. It is a privilege to serve alongside my fellow Quarter H Authority members, many of which who are here today. And we stand ready and committed to advocate for more federal uh, government funding support DOH as they plan and construct this highway, and work to develop the economic development opportunities along the way. Thank you to the West Virginia DOH, ALL Construction, and everyone involved in this much needed project for our state. Thank you for having us here today, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Robbie. Well, now it's all important photo time with this beautiful backdrop. So, gentlemen, Governor Justice, if we could get you over here with the shovel in front. And uh, baby dog's going to stay here? Okay, all right. This is an excellent opportunity for a photo, those of you wanting one. And uh, Jason, if you'll come up, sir. Get your shovel. Anyone else like a picture with a shovel? Take a quick second here if you'd like to come up and stage yourself behind the shovel. We can once in a chance lifetime here. Something you can look back on 10 years from now and say, I was, you'll do it. I was there. Four more people. <laughs> 